Hello and welcome to the first 10 minutes of Fay Farm. Now I know what you're probably thinking, you've already started the game. I've also already technically record recorded this video, but the first 10 minutes was basically I just created this character. Then I was some random guy that got a message in a bottle that said to come to this strange land and I just agreed to this message in the bottle, showed up here, the mayor, brought me to this house, let me name it, and then gave me these tools, and then the 10 minutes was over. So nothing really happened. So this is gonna be the first 10 minutes of actual gameplay. So that was the premise, essentially. I just came to this land, bottle, told me to come here, and you'd have a farm, and he gave it to me. I have know nothing else about the story. I don't know what they're gonna ask me to do. They said there's a bunch of magic in the land and it's causing trouble. So here's my tools. I'm gonna start cleaning up the land, and I guess she's gonna tell me more about this trouble that's in the lands. and. Here we go. Uh, make sure to keep up for your energy. Okay, with these beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done and, I'm sorry, you can upgrade them later in Cinder Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Got it. Basic farming knowledge uh, and, and starting area stuff. Try clearing away rocks, logs, and grass, and harvesting wild greens from the land around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Hooray. I want all of the fibers. Okay, so tidy up. Uh, da -da -da -da. Do all the things that she said. So how do I use the scythe? I see that it's equipped. Do I have to go? Oh, here we go. Yeah, actually... Uh, you actually have to go to the stuff, and then you press A, and there we go! I'm harvesting fibers! I'm actually really excited to play this game because I just got done playing Palia, thinking it was an open-world farming game, and it's really not a farming game. They didn't really advertise it as a farming game, I'm just an idiot, and saw farming in the game trailer and thought it would be a lot more centered around that than it was. But this looks like a, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's giving me uh, those Harvest Moon vibes, and of course it has magic as well, and spells pickaxe wrong. Is that how you spell pickaxe? I'm pretty sure there's an E in that. I could be wrong. How do I switch to that? Did she mention that? I wasn't paying attention. How do you switch? Oh, it switches automatically. That's actually handy. Her all right, that feels good. The animations look really good, too. Um, all right, what else do we need? Oh, gotta upgrade my axe for that. The sound effects are nice and cool, too. Let's actually go back to this log and listen to that for a second. You can really hear him, like, the, the axe stuck in the wood. Sounds really cool. Oh! They just have recipes for rugs around the world. Alright. Let's pick up some more stone. And then after this we'll need some wild spring greens. Which isn't the weeds. So I wonder what is the wild greens. Hmm. Let's just finish getting the stone. What's that mound? So many things to explore. Oh, I got some silt. What is silt? That looks like a wild green. Oh, hooray! Look at these jumping animations, too. I gave myself a nice green burly beard. And I thought I made myself more tan. I mean, I'm not really tan in person, but I figured if I was a farmer, I would be. But maybe you can customize further when you're in the game, so maybe as I progress through the game, I'll just get myself more and more tan. <laughs> Ooh, some berries! That will go really good with my silt. Huckleberries. Oh, and this is where I get my water. I'm loving this. I am loving this, loving this, I'm really loving this. This is more what I wanted. 
I'm actually really happy. I'm I'm focusing my channel more towards farming games because this YouTube game you have to niche down and for some reason I was trying to do all the bigger games like Mario RPG and and Zelda and things like that, which are games that I do enjoy, but a lot of the big channels do those games and I found myself I was playing a lot of Harvest Moon 64 actually in between those games that I was doing for the channel. And I'm like, I like doing farming games. I like playing farming games. Um, I'm clearly not very good at it because what do I need to do? I need one more green. I like playing them and I had a bunch of my backlog anyway that I was just going to play like not for the channel. So I was playing the games that everyone likes for the channel and ignoring the games that I gravitate to because I thought there wouldn't be as much interest in it. But I feel like I've got the interest. And after doing further research, there's lots of people that have, I mean, probably you watching this video are very interested in farming games. So I'm happy. I don't know why I didn't think it would work, but I think it'll work. And if it doesn't work, then at least I'm having fun playing the games. Not that Mario wasn't fun or, or Zelda wasn't fun, but it should be able easier to get my foot into that YouTube door by uh, by doing what I love, sharing it with people. And so far, I haven't had any of those like negative people that they say are on the internet. But I'm sure they're coming for me. How long, has this been 10 minutes? Oh, we still have five more minutes to explore this lovely world. And I got my first quest done. Hello. Azoria's the better for having... Oh yeah, this place is called Azoria, this uh, island, I guess. Let's redeem the quest. What are you going to give me? Uh, nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? All right. In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself. But it's as easy as falling down. See, you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your almanac. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you will that you fill in. Isn't that fun? She hasn't told me about the almanac yet. Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. Hooray. Craft around woven stool inside... I want a stool. Right now I have like a sleeping bag on the ground, so I'd like to get like a, a new bed. I mean, I want a custom... Look at this. Here's my sacks. Uh, Alright. Decor. Wallpaper. Oh, build catalog. Oh, that's a nice little stool. That's, a, that's bigger than my bed. Uh, wow. Simple. Return to merit. Wait, I want to... I wanted to sit on my stool. Hello! Happy to have you around. Oh, I like you, too. Redeem quests. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, Christo. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should do next. Build a cooking fire. Hooray. What was that? Did you just blow hearts for a cooking fire? Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. All right. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some wild greens around. But there's muscles on the beach, too. There's muscles on my character, too. Look at those beefy arms. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do it. Uh, da, da, da. Build catalog. Fire. Nice. How do I get out of this? Oh, just had to hit it again. Let's cook some huckleberries into toasted huckleberries. That doesn't look like huckleberries. That looks like hot cross buns. Uh, collect. Hooray. Now I would like to eat. 
the toasted huckleberries. Oh, you can just edit your outfit at any time. Oh, sorry, I don't know how to navigate right now. Oh, I don't have any clothing yet. This is just the default. All right, that's cool. Selects. I don't know how to eat them. Maybe she'll tell me. Hi! Oh, she's just gonna repeat that. Uh, I have to go to redeem quest to get the next bit of dialogue from her. Let me see what you've cooked, Cristo. Bravo! You see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home-cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. That's good to know. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know, get jazzy with it. I like the cut of her jib. I know what you're thinking, Christo. Where is, uh, when is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Right, now, let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials and shit. All right. Uh, da 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 da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ret oh, just like every other farming game, we're gonna start with turnips. Well, that was a weird little. Oh, it was auto saving, I think. Let's get turnip seeds, silt, fine sediment deposited by water, and then this is sand. And what, do I need all this stuff? We shall find out. Uh, craft basic soil beds. So, oh, we do need the silt for that. I guess you mix the silt with sand and that becomes soil. I didn't know. I thought you used poop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, just do one there, I guess. That looks ugly. I'll probably reconstruct this when I actually play. I'm just trying to do this quick because, oh shit, we're over the 10 minutes. Let me just plant these turnip seeds. Somehow. I don't... Oh, you just, I guess you just press A on it. Oh, okay. It automatically equips it. Get my little turnips in. Um, yeah, <laughs> plant my seeds, and then it should automatically, yep, equip the water. Oh, that's easy, I'm just kind of pressing A and just not, like, I'm not letting, well, I guess I have to let go of A if I lose uh, aim on one of the plots and there we go I've watered my turnips and I guess that's a good place to end it there you go the first 10 ish minutes of Fay farm I, I like it so far I can't wait to try it more and I'm gonna actually play a full playthrough get through the story and all that so I can do an educated review on it later but until next time keep on questing